David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with a very special review and announcement. I am making this video to announce my next pen project. About four months ago, I launched my first project, which was a collaboration with Leonardo and Jonathan Brooks, and I was very pleased with how things turned out and greatly appreciated everyone's support. Uh, first of all, I was really happy with the pen. This was it right here. Um, I thought it was amazing, something I could really be proud of. Um, I was also very pleased with being able to fulfill on my initial promise in regard to turnaround time. There were a few hiccups, and that's to be expected with projects such as these, but for the most part, things went smoothly. Um, I did have some issues with international shipping. I had sent the international orders via USPS, and USPS suddenly decided that they weren't going to deliver to a number of countries. Uh, some shipments took a, a very long time to arrive, and some were even turned around and returned to me. Um, I had to ship them out a second time with a different carrier who was able to actually deliver the pens. Um, you know, I did my best to maintain communication with the affected customers so that they could be assured that I was actively working to uh, rectify the situation. And I appreciated everyone's patience. And I think that once everyone got their pens in their hands, they were satisfied. Um, it was a lot of fun to see everyone's social media posts about uh, being excited about receiving their pens. You know what, there was this one customer in Singapore who still has yet to receive their package. It is sitting in limbo right now, and I won't be completely satisfied until I can get that last pen in the customer's hands, but I'm doing my, uh, my best and doing everything possible to make that happen. Uh, my biggest regret with the first project was the limited number of pens which I offered. Uh, since this was my very first project, there was the question of how many pens could I potentially sell? So I went with a number that I felt comfortable with, financially and otherwise, and they sold out very quickly. Um, I made posts that everything sold out in about two minutes, but in reality it was more like 30 seconds. Uh, it was a bit of a surreal blur to see it sell out so quickly. Um, it was very important to me to have the time period between the pre-order and the customers receiving their pens to be as short as possible. I didn't want it to be like backing a Kickstarter where you put your money up and then maybe you'd get your product in nine months or a year. I wanted the turnaround time to be quick, and I was able to deliver on that with a few international orders as the exception. So, with the success of the first project, the inevitable question was, what is next? Well, I'm here to share that with you today and let you know all the details. I have again partnered with Leonardo and Jonathan Brooks to create a new Memento Zero model that I am calling Carolina Midnight, which will go on sale beginning December 4th at 9 a.m. Eastern. Now, just a little bit of behind-the-scenes info. Um, I am working with a number of other manufacturers on some potential future projects, but both Leonardo and Jonathan Brooks are great partners on this first project that I did, and I felt right to work with them again on a project uh, a bit on a larger scale. How big of a scale? Well, I'll get to that in a bit, but first, let's take a look at the pen. Uh, actually, two pens. And in order to do that, please join me over here at camera two. This is what the box looks like. Um, it is a generic Memento Zero box. The sleeve slides off, and inside we have another box, and inside that box we have the actual box. And then inside here we have a standard use and care guide. Um, on the first projects, I made it a point here in the back to sign my initials and add a date as well as the number of the pen. Um, you know, I also included a personalized thank you note with each pen. Uh, I really wanted to make it as special as possible and include as much cool stuff like that. But I opened up every single box and examined every single pen before shipping them out. Uh, I wanted to do everything within my power to uh, make sure there were no issues. And in the end, I didn't receive a single complaint about the pens at all. So I was really pleased about that. Uh, Leonardo makes some quality pens. And speaking of pens, here it is. This is the Momento Zero Fig Boot on Pens Carolina Midnight. Uh, that's quite a long name. Now, I've done a number of reviews of Momento Zero models, so I'm not going to go over all of the parts and features of this particular pen, but I wanted to highlight some of the things I really care for about this model. Uh, to begin with, you are going to have your choice of two different trims. Uh, this one here has rhodium trim as well as a rhodium plated nib, uh, but then we have this option here. And this one here has the ruthenium trim. 
Now the ruthenium trim is more of a dark kind of gunmetal gray when it comes to the trim. Uh, with the lights it might not seem like there's that much of a difference between the rhodium and the ruthenium, but there is. But where it really stands out is on the nib. You can see here with this black nib. I think that this black nib with this darker material looks really sharp. Now let's actually take a look at the material itself. Um, I will say that with this project, uh, or with actually with the first project, this one here, uh, this turquoise material really stood out and had a big wow factor. It really photographed nicely. Um, and I'll say that this material here has more of a subtle wow factor, but it's there. Uh, and it's a bit harder to capture that in pictures. Um, here's a look at both pens and the natural sunlight. I think that this really captures the look well. The material is a mix of lighter and darker blues with subtle gray shimmering highlights. Um, on the ruthenium model on the left, you can see the gray around the three cap rings. Um, you can see that the material has a nice depth to it, and as the light hits it at different angles, the different shades of blue are more visible. Um, here on the barrel, let's see if we can get this close to you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It says Leonardo Officina Italiana, and then it's going to have the number of the pen. And underneath that, it says Fig Boot on Pens. Um, the end of the barrel has a blind cap. Uh, now, I like the looks of the ring here on the back, uh, but personally, I don't get much use out of the blind cap. When filling this pen, I prefer just to go ahead and uh, take off the barrel. Um, that, you know, I do like Leonardo's uh, converters, though, um, but I get, like to look, uh, get a good look at the fill. Um, that, you know, here on this ruthenium model, the converter piston knob is plated as well. I think that's a really nice uh, feature. Uh, the inner housing of the section is plated as well. And I think that having these two areas, which you can uh, really only see when inking the pen, have the same plating makes for some nice cohesion in the overall look of the pen. Uh, the nibs will be available in both stainless steel as well as gold. Um, the stainless steel version of your choice of trim will be $235, and one with a gold nib will be $475. That's 14 karat gold. Uh, the gold nib pens will also include a bottle of Leonardo ink. I haven't decided on which color yet, but something that I feel will uh, look nice coming out of this pen. Uh, in regard to the nib size, they will be available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and 1.1 stub. Um, I have a stub on this one right here. Uh, and while stubs usually aren't my thing, um, I have two stubs on different Leonardo pens, and I've been using this one a lot, and I just really like it. Um, that uh, uh, it uh, is just really smooth and uh, just fits my writing style really well. Um, this tiered section works well for me as, as well. And when I'm gripping the pen, it just feels uh, natural and not forced. Um, even though there isn't a flare here on the end, I never find myself having to struggle to maintain my grip uh, or even have it slip off the end of the section. It just really works well. Um, and then, just as a comparison, this is what it looks like in comparison to the first Fig Boudon Pens model. And I think that they complement each other well. Okay, let's do a quick writing sample. So, here we have the Leonardo. Momento Zero. We'll say this is the fig boot on pens. Carolina Midnight. The ink that I'm using here is one of my favorite blue-black inks, which appropriately enough is Diamine. Midnight. And then just in regard to a writing sample. And then some fast writing. I just really like this stub nib. 
Makes me want to get more stub nibs. And the feed keeps up just fine. Okay, how do you purchase one of these fantastic pens? Uh, I'm a little biased, but I am really pleased with the end result. I mentioned previously how one of my regrets with the first project was selling out so quickly, so that is not going to happen this time. What I decided to do is rather than have a limited number of pens, I will have a pre-sale period of two days, and however many pens are sold during that time, or however many then will be produced. Uh, there is no purchase limit, so if you want to buy 10 pens, then I will sell you 10 pens. Now, it's a bit of a trade-off. The benefit is that whoever would care to purchase this pen will be able to do so without having to worry about a mad rush and missing out because they sold out too quickly. Now, the downside is the turnaround time will take slightly longer, but overall I'm anticipating the time from pre-sale until the time I ship the pens to be about 90 days, which isn't that bad. The only place to purchase this pen will be at my website, figboot.com. Uh, don't bother looking for a bunch of content on the site, it does not exist. Maybe one day it will, but the site basically serves as a way for me to conduct these sales. The sale will begin on December 4th at 9 a.m. Eastern and go through midnight Eastern on December 5th. If this is something that you're interested in purchasing, you'll want to place your order during that window of time. Um, unfortunately, I will not be able to accommodate any special requests regarding the specific pen numbers. In regard to shipping, it'll be $10 for shipping within the U.S. and $35 to ship international. Uh, I'm now using UPS to ship international, and they did a great job of re-delivering to places USPS would not, but just know that I'm not making any profit on international shipping. It's actually costing more than what I'm charging, but I'm fine with that as long as it guarantees that folks will receive their pen within a reasonable period of time. Oh, one more thing. Uh, the sale of these pens is before the holiday season, but they will not be shipped until after it. Uh, if you are looking to purchase this pen as a gift, and but would like to still have something to give the person during the holidays, I plan on producing uh, like a little flyer that you could print out and give to them on the day of to let them know what they'll be receiving uh, in a short period of time. I am really excited about this project. Um, while the first project was a great deal of work, I had a lot of fun with it. And I look forward to a larger number of people being able to get their hands on something that I feel is pretty cool. And I feel confident that you will feel the same way once you have one of these in your hands. Uh, if you have any additional questions about this sale, then feel free to leave a comment in the notes below in YouTube or shoot me an email. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.